hello everybody in this video we are going to study that how uh, node mcu can behave as a web server and through that web server how to switch on an led either on and off ok so let us see the code first so here is the code uh, I have taken first the header file of ESP8266 Wi-Fi ok that is dot h is the header file extension I will include that one then I have taken Wi-Fi server and server port number 80 because through port 80 we can contact the server right then the word setup method what I have done is that I have taken uh, pin mode D1 as the output so D1 will be connected to my LED so I have taken D1 pin as the output initially I am uh, with the result write command I am putting D1 as low and then I am linking to serial monitor uh, for that I have taken the command serial dot begin and the border is 115200 is the border rate ok now from here onwards you can see I have connected to Wi-Fi begin ok for that given my Wi-Fi hotspot name as well as uh, uh, the password I have used over here and then I am checking the status of the Wi-Fi over here which already we discussed in the earlier videos so if Wi-Fi dot status uh, is not equals to connected W will connect it then it will be in this loop ok and if it is connected it will come out of the loop to this lines and it will print that uh, yes the uh, node mcu is connected to wi-fi and the ip address that is this one the local ip address to which it got connected it will print that one right and uh, here we want that the node mcu should behave as a server so i am starting from here the next command server dot begin so with this command my node mcu is got connected to a wi-fi uh, to the local uh, wi-fi okay and to the particular ip address okay, it will start behaving as a server so with this command server dot begin now this delay of 300 milliseconds and then I am switching over to uh, my loop method. So, let us see the loop method what is the code to be used. So, in the loop method what I have done is taken I have taken Wi-Fi client ok. So, client equal to server dot available. So, here exactly what is happening now the client is trying to uh, contact the server and server is uh, checking that yes a client is doing any request or not. So, with this command server is trying to find out whether client is putting any request or not ok. So, if there is a request so if client equals to 1. So, if there is a request is there then uh, that request will be read with this command client dot read string until slash n and be stored in a uh, variable called request which is a string. So, I am storing it over here in the request ok. And then with this client dot flush what exactly I am doing is that I am flushing the uh, uh, buffer client buffer ok and then I am printing the request which already uh, it is stored in this uh, string. So, string variable. So, I am printing it over here on the serial monitor ok. Now, the next line is saying that if request dot index of LED on ok. So, minus 1 means nothing is there. So, I have taken the negation of minus 1. So, it means something is there. What is something that is LED on? So, if this value is there ok with this command I will check if it is available then I will put my D1 as high with this light command ok. So, I have taken the negation of this value not equals to minus 1 that means something is there what is the something this this term if it is available then uh, it will force the LED to be high ok and it will print a statement that LED is on in the serial monitor and if at all uh, in the second step you can see if LED off is there then it will uh, make the LED low and it will print a statement LED is off. So, this is what the code is ok now I will show you the setup how I have done the setup the hardware and how the system is working that we will see ok now we will see the hardware setup ok. So, here is a USB port through which I have connected uh, the cable USB cable and to, to my node MCU over here you can see this my node MCU ok and to this node MCU ok I have connected two uh, wires over here one is green one is yellow the yellow one is for the ground connection and the green one is going to D1 port ok and this is going to my breadboard over here. So, in the breadboard you can see this is the ground connection I have taken and through the resistance I have given the connection to the LED and the green one is going to the another port of the LED this is the red LED I have taken ok uh, you can see over here the red LED right. Uh, now, what exactly I am going to do is that I am going to dump this uh, code into my node MCU. So, I will just click this tab over here ok the moment I will be clicking this one uh, it becomes yellow and you can see it is showing compiling sketch and over here you can see that a green tab has started ok. So, we will wait for uploading this code then we will see what exactly is happening. Well, now you can see that uploading is taken start is 7 percent, 15 percent in this way, and you can see there is a blink on uh, this node MCU. You can see there is a blink, ok. Blink is taking place. So, now let me uh, start my serial monitor, ok. So, the moment will be 100 percent, I will click the serial monitor 92 percent, it is 100 percent now. I am clicking the serial monitor now, ok. You can see there is a dot dot 
uh, is there and now I'm finding the IP address over here that is you can see the IP address over here 192.168.1.23 which is a presentation of the serial monitor and you can see the LEDs off and uh, mm, this is the cell phone one extra cell phone I have taken okay through which I'm going to connect it out so let me start the cell phone and that from here I'm just going to Internet Explorer okay here already I have typed this uh, IP address 192.168.1.23 so the LED off button so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to uh, remove this LED off part presently okay and then what I will going to do is I will to strike this one okay so this is the IP address I'm having over here you can see this is the IP address okay okay so this is the IP address okay you can see clearly right so when I strike this one okay I'll get some message over here on the uh, screen on the uh, serial monitor okay which I'm having over here okay so you can see the moment I strike it the moment I strike this one I'm getting something called get slash HTTP slash 1.1 you can see it clearly okay now next command what I will give over here is that LED on okay so let me type it out so over here I'll be giving L E D on okay and then I will just uh, strike this key okay you can see the LED is on now okay and uh, I'm I'll be getting some uh, result on the serial monitor also resistance so LED is on you can see uh, LED is on okay the LED on HTTP less 1.1 is there now to switch it off what exactly I'm going to do is that over here I will type again LED off okay so let me do that so over here I'm typing O F F off okay and it is written over here you can see clearly LED off okay so I'm just going to strike this so here is typed and the LED is off okay and the screen will find LED is off okay so this is the way by which uh, I'm using my node M MCU as a web server okay to control the LED okay thank you for watching my video